back to my channel. So, so far, Derek and Monique, Cameron and Eris, and Justine and Michael have all made it onto the Shade Room's Instagram page. And that's a big deal because they have over 28 million different followers. And they be talking about all the hottest pop culture tea. And Derek shared this and he said, I love this for the culture, but he doesn't like how they're like trying to have them compete against each other because they're asking their audience which couple is your favorite. And he says, special thanks to this season's cast because we did the most numbers in WeTV history. Without us, it's quiet. So that's interesting to know that this last season, according to Derek, was the highest rated and most viewed season in Love After Lockup history. And I feel like the numbers don't lie. Like, you can definitely see it, like, in Derek and Monique's follower counts, for example. Because we have people who've been on the show for, like, four or five plus seasons, and they don't even have as many followers as Derek and Monique have. Derek is currently sitting at a little over 135,000 followers and Monique is right around the same amount. And when Monique started the show, she only had about two, 300 followers. So now let's talk about this last episode. So I called it. I said this in my last review of Derek and Monique that I felt like Derek was fishing for an argument to start with Monique after the family barbecue because he wanted to leave the relationship in a gray area because he knew that she was going to go back to Chicago and he had his little CEO boo thing that he wanted to go see. So I felt like he wanted to leave the relationship in a gray area. And he even admitted in this episode, look, the reason I cheated is because our relationship was in a gray area. When that's all on you because you're the one who left the relationship in a gray area. So then they show Derek and he's out shopping with his sisters. And he's trying to find a gift to buy Monique that screams, I'm sorry I stuffed my D in another woman. And he thinks that if he buys Monique one candle and a bouquet of flowers, that Monique is just going to forgive him, sweeping everything under the rug. And I just think it's crazy because Monique literally spent $500 on this dude for him to have like his first dinner out of prison. And she literally bought him Gucci, Balenciaga, all kinds of designer stuff just as like a coming home gift. And this dude literally cheats on Monique. And his gift to her is a candle. <laughs> but anyways, they're all shopping around trying to find Monique a gift. And Derek's sisters were shading Monique left and right. They're asking the store clerk if they have any scales. And the other sister was holding up two shirts saying that Monique needed one for each nip. And Derek was just laughing along with them thinking it was so hilarious. And Derek is out here playing both sides in my opinion. Like he laughs and he feeds into the drag instead of stopping it. And it just seems like he loves the drama. Like he needs to check his sisters if he really cares about Monique. Like he says he does. But the way he laughs and makes fun of her behind her back is telling me he doesn't. And he's the one that's playing them against each other because one minute he's laughing with them, making fun of Monique, and the next he's running to Monique, acting like his sisters are the problem. And obviously, you don't want the drama to be over like you claim so bad because you're feeding into it. And Derek's sister said in her last lie that Monique needs to stop being mad at her and be mad at Derek because he's the problem. And I'm starting to see that now. So then they show Monique and she is in her car headed to Cleveland to see Derek. But this time she's rolling three deep. She has her, her sister from last season. And now we're introduced to Monique's other sister. And they're going down there to support Monique and watch her back while she's out there visiting Derek. Especially with all the drama that Monique's had with Derek's sisters. So Monique said that she wants to go down there. She wants to hear Derek out on why he decided to sleep with another woman. And then they show these text messages between uh, Derek and Monique. And Derek keeps calling Monique Big Mama. And like when he walks up to her, when he finally does see her, he calls her Big Mama. So they show these messages of Derek begging Monique to come back down and see him and saying he misses her so much. He says, Monique, seriously, that's over with. I care and love only for you. It was a slip up. Like he just slipped and fell into this girl's coochie. And so... Derek's sisters were asking him while they're shopping. They're like, okay, are you even going to be faithful to Monique this time? Because what's the point of buying her all this stuff if you're just still going to be out here being a little hoe? So Derek's were up and down. He's going to be faithful to Monique as he had this look on his face. And to me, it was just reading like 
what he was saying was a total lie. I was not buying it. I feel like Derek's just going to keep doing what Derek wants to do, but he's going to try to, like, move smarter and try not to get caught by Monique this time. So Monique finally made it to Cleveland. She calls Derek to let him know that she's touched down. And when she calls, Derek's sisters are in the background. They're like, okay, tell Monique we said hi. So Derek told Monique they said hi. Monique said hi back. And then all of a sudden they were like, oh no, she called us hoes. She said, hey hoes. And Derek's just sitting there laughing with them. And then like Monique was getting all mad. She's like, okay, I can already see what it is and how it's going to be when I show up. And Derek's sisters were just doing what they do best. And they're just doing way too much and doing the absolute most. So then Derek finally goes to meet up with Monique at the park. And he gives her the candle he bought her and some flowers. And that was enough to win her back over. And this is why I think Monique does not have that much confidence in herself. That's just my opinion. Because I feel like if she knew who she was, then she would not just, like, take the bare minimum. She would not just allow some guy to just buy her this candle and some flowers. And her to just move on, forgive him, and sweep everything under the rug so easily. But anyways, I feel like Derek is still going to cheat. Like the fact that he still has that tablet from jail full of nudes and twerking videos. And the fact that he was showing them off to the producers and his brothers and just watching the videos over and over again. You can tell that he's watching those videos and pictures in private. And it's only a matter of time before he gets all excited and he's going to want to go out and get the real thing instead of watching the video clips. But anyways, Monique and Derek, they still start walking and chatting about Derek cheating and Monique was asking Derek all the hard questions that he didn't want to answer she asked him like okay so you cheat on me like is there anyone else you cheat on me with and Derek like for a minute he kind of like seemed discombobulated like he was just trying to come up with an answer and then finally he said no and it did not come across as genuine at all because I feel like if someone asked you if there's anybody else you've been cheating with on me with if it's a no, then you're going to say no. It's not going to take you like three minutes to say no. In this full Derek, he had the nerve to say, oh, love is good. Love doesn't hurt. Well, maybe it doesn't hurt for you, but it hurts for Monique because you literally cheat on her days after she left you in Cleveland. And Derek says that he just wants to sweep things under the rug, pretend nothing happened, and Monique says, look, I just want to make sure you don't come out here and do this again to me and get tempted. And Derek swore up and down he wouldn't. And then Monique even gave Derek an out. She said, look, if you don't want to be with me or you want to still be a little hoe, then just let me know so you can do you and I can do me and just be honest with me. But I shouldn't have to play detective to find out you're messing around on me behind my back. So Derek said, look, I promise I'll be loyal to you. You have nothing to worry about. And she's like, okay, let's start from a clean slate. And she was so quick to give him another chance. And then she said, okay, Derek, I need you to sit down because I need to talk to you about something. So Monique reveals to Derek that she missed her period and th she thinks she might be pregnant. Which, I'm sorry, I'm sure the show wants them to wait to do it on TV, but if that was me and I thought I was pregnant, I would have done already, have taken like 20 different pregnancy tests to see if I'm pregnant. And she says that this is one of the main reasons why she decided to come back out here and see Derek, and I could not believe this full Derek's response. Derek said, get the F out of here when she said she thinks she might be pregnant. Which, you know, that's the response that every woman just wants to hear when she announces that she may be pregnant with your baby. And then this fool had the nerve to say that he thought Monique was trying to trap him by bringing this on him. And dude, this wouldn't even have been an issue if you weren't out here raw-dogging it. So I don't want to hear nothing about getting chopped. You both equally participated in what may have caused this, so don't act surprised now. And Derek's sister even said in the live, like, she's like, look, there's no way Monique is pregnant because the men in my family shoot blanks and they can't reproduce. But I would not depend on that theory too much because I was told by doctors I would never have kids. And here I am today with two kids. So you can never, ever bank on anything like that. And Derek was like, look, I'm sorry. I was just not expecting any of this. And I'm sure Monique was not expecting any of this either. But you just have to accept that's in the realm of possibilities when you want to be out here raw-dogging it all the time. 
And just because you've gone 30 years, well, not 30 years, you probably haven't been banging for 30 years, but like 15 years of your life, probably doing it that way and haven't got a girl pregnant yet. So many people get cocky and think that they can just use the pull out method for life. And the next thing you know, they got a baby on the way and they got to accept it. I think honestly, this is just a wild card thrown in by Wee TV. Like it seems like when storylines start to get stale, like they have like a go to list, like, okay, you're gonna have the wedding you're gonna go and you're gonna have a family member who disapproves of the relationship um you're gonna have a secret um you know they always like have like these go-to storylines that we see over and over again in different seasons i like to call them recycled storylines because we see them with different cast members throughout different seasons and i feel like this is what they're doing with monique and derek things are starting to get a little stale so this is just like a little wrench they're throwing in the storyline to make things interesting but i guess we'll just have to wait and see but that's it for this video guys let me know your thoughts about monique and derek in the last episode in the comments below make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe and thank you so much for watching